All right, so we need coal and sand. Sand. And maybe like some cobblestone, because I use like cobblestone to fill in like water areas. All right, well, I'll bring cobblestone. That that's one thing I'll have. The I'll have to start getting the charcoal factory going again. Or something just to burn so we can dry the sponges. Yeah. I've been using like the wood planks that are here. You see, that's why I have a charcoal factory set up. And I'd cut down the trees and I'd throw them in the charcoal factory and get a bunch of charcoal going. What's the multi switch command for multi. upstreams again? Well, I just did that, and Nightbot's not working. Nightbot's in my chat, though. Oh, I figured out how to get Twitch chat on the stream with X. Well, not like where people could see on the stream, but I see it like on the screen. I finally figured that out, too. Cool. Yeah, but Multi's not, uh, not working on mine either. Maybe we have to redo the links or something. Or maybe just Nightbot's like derping. Let me try another command. I think Nightbot is derping. Yeah, just put in my Twitter command and Nightbot's derping. Maybe Derpin. Oh yeah. Right, I'm gonna head over there now and drop off supplies. And then I'm gonna start working on uh, getting more sand. Awesomeness. I failed so you ever at play factions? No. Never understood factions. I don't really get the point of it. I think it's supposed to be some sort of PvP thing. Yeah, I know you can like grief in PvP, I think. But I feel like it's like kind of like where you have like your own like clan or like colony or something, and you can go like attack other colonies in a sense. Something I think like that, that's yeah. Like how it is. It's. I think so too. I don't remember exactly. So, was, so basically, I, it's like a Mayanite purge in a sense, too. In a way, yeah. Like, I was originally going to have a uh, factions type server at some point when I was actually running stuff. But then I kind of went the way of the dodo. Yeah, somebody that um, is usually in your team speak was in my chat last night and was talking. Hmm? I forget the username. They followed me. It's one of the more recent follows. If you look at my... I'll have to see who it is. Oh, Penguins tied the game. Sorry, I was just like looking at my phone. But hold on, I'll see who it was. But they were in chat and they said they used to play like on your server or something. But they're usually in like TeamSpeak. Give me a second. Um... Tell more. Yeah. Tell more, uh... He was... Yeah, that was him. He's a cool guy. Yeah, he seemed cool. He was, like, chilling and chatting and everything. But yeah, he, um... The past two nights around, like, this time have been absolutely derping for some reason. That's not good. No. I heard they were derping a little bit today. Like, it's been mainly where people... They will say, like, um, where you are, wait, what? Shit, my stream's not up. One second. I'm still hosting Mongeese Gaming. Shit. Good job with the derp. Oh my god, that was a total derp. Because I usually change the title in XSplit.
Bit of a derp. Alright, we got furnaces back up and running. I can't believe I, for I forgot it because, like, recently I've been hosting them because I've been doing, like, my stuff on, uh, well, it still says I'm live, but it probably just shows the host. Mm. And sand. I'm such an idiot sometimes. It happens. Yeah, I'll eventually get the hang of this. Take some time. I was wondering why, like, nobody's really been in besides, like, Mike, I think. Hmm. I haven't seen any, uh... Spawns yet. No, nothing spawning. And the guy that has a gold farm. I know uh, he he's on. I think that's why. Yeah, either he's AFK or yeah, and it, we we know it's for a fact that it's his build. He just he can't be AFK. Yeah, at that build. like now it's affecting everybody else is like builds and yeah, etc. No. Like it doesn't affect the spawners or anything. It doesn't affect the spawners, but it affects everybody else's builds and it winds up screwing everything up. I don't want to be mean to the guy, but it's like, you know what, dude, come on. Don't, why? You're kind of being selfish now with that. Like it's, you know, now we can't, I can't get Prismarine, you know, or anything else without you being on. I know, this is getting frustrating, because, like, yesterday, nobody was on, because everybody was all karma everything. Mm -hmm. And I was getting Guardian spawns like crazy at my farm. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Mon even told Ido, don't be on AFK there. Yeah, like, he hasn't said anything yet. Yeah, I know. Because Ido, I think, is like German or something like that. See, it's only somebody even mentioned it. They already mentioned it. Mm hmm. Trying to get clean out this entire area where the path is. And make it look actually nice at the same time. Yeah. What are all those paths that like go around the the square? What do you mean? I don't know, it's all like random like one long one in length like paths or something. Oh, I don't like, know what I, I... I think they go to that island where I found the... Dumb oh, that's... Yeah, that's uh, Nanners. She um made a path that way to uh, try to start getting horses over to us. Ah, okay. I was wondering what that was. But then she made like a little mini stable over there or something like that and was like, okay. Cool. Gives you more like land in a sense. Yeah, in a way. Have you played Karma yet? 
I've played it. I just haven't played it at the same time. See, my thing, like, I don't know if I really want to play on the follower one, because I just feel like there's too many people. And I, I don't know. I might play on that one. I was on for a little bit yesterday. It, that it would be the kind of the worrisome one that I would have problems with going on because I'd be afraid of somebody stealing my stuff. But it's old spawners. I like you're supposed to trust like most old spawners, which I do trust most of them. But you know, sometimes you get those few bad eggs. Yeah, and there's a certain someone that's you know trying to be an old spawner, but that mon refuses to give them old spawn. I'm trying to think who that is. Oh, you know who it is. The person that I uh, sent you the message about earlier. Wait, which one? The one that sent me the message. Now I have to think. No, I sent you that message about about it. Oh, him. Okay. Yeah. I thought he was already on the server. No, Mon, Mon refuses to give that guy a uh, old spawn. Well, good, because he got banned. He kind of he kind of has to realize. Usually, when they ban somebody and they bring him back, a lot of the times they don't get to go back to old spawn. That kind of sucks for him. Yeah, I think once in a while. I don't know how it really works, but I don't think you get to do old spawn for at least a while. Right now I'm trying to trying to get this to look nice. Nice. But it's at the same time kind of failing. Because I need sand and I need to dig up a lot of sand sandstone and yeah. uh, cobble and stone and then move sand and then take apart half a mountain and then rebuild half the mountain. <laughs> Yeah, terraforming can be a pain in the butt. I think I'm just going to cut down this entire, like, section of this mountain and just leave it over here. Make, just keep a mound. I know I killed uh, Nanners uh, with that. I think she got so burnt out from terraforming that she's just like, yeah. nope, uh, I'm going to take a break from doing this. Yeah, she hasn't been on it all the past two days either. She, um... What was it? She was saying she was having some bad lag issues with uh, the server for a while there. Yeah, but it seems like it's been calming down. Which is great, because now she can get back on. <laughs> yeah, she needs to get her butt on. She did say she was making Rice Krispie treats uh, a little bit ago. Nice. She was like, better be making me one. Yeah, she needs to mail some out toward the east coast over here.
Have you played Sky Factory at all? No, I haven't tried that one out yet. That I like a lot. Wait, you like that pack a lot? Yeah, that one I do like a, a lot, mainly because I like from starting from nothing and uh, getting something. Yeah. It kind of, it's like that modded feel to, um, uh, what's it called? The sky servers you can go on, Skyblock I think it's called, if it's vanilla. Yeah. Now these people who make like mod packs, do they like eventually make money from it or they just do it for the hell of it? I don't know. Um I'd venture to guess that they could possibly make a lot of money off of it. Cause you see these people doing like mod packs, like you have Karma, you have Sky Factory and all that. But like it's free on the AT launcher, so I'm just I'm always curious, like do they make a profit out of it from like companies or something? I, well, I, I guess it's possible to say that they don't actually make anything off of it because, you know, they're pretty much making it for free. Yeah. Um, you know, it's very well possible that they are getting money from somewhere. More than likely, it's from other sources. Maybe, like, donations. Probably they get a lot. I think some of them always ask for, like, donations and stuff to help like further the mod pack and all that mm -hmm. Go on free mock rage. What's wrong? Stop with the GGs for people killing themselves. Oh my god, I know. It's ridiculous. Even if it's a self kill, they do it with self kills too, and it's annoying. Oh boy, I almost fell there. Are you going to go to TwitchCon? No. If it was closer, I'd probably go, but it's like in, um, whatever it's called, San Francisco. If they did one in, like, New York, I'd probably go. Just, like, take a train up and say, screw everybody, I'm going to New York. Yeah, no, not, not doing that. Well, see, just, like, around here, like, the people, like, I'm friends with, like, outside of, like, gaming-wise, like, not, not, I don't really know what I do, like, with streaming and all that. Like, they don't know, like, how much of a gamer I am. I kind of, like, keep it from them in a sense, because, like, none of them are really into that. Mm-hmm. No, that's normal. So, it's, it's like a double life in a way, but that's what I want to do. Then get it's one of the main it. reasons I delete my Facebook. Well, that's the thing, though. Having a Facebook and then having a Facebook page for your YouTube stuff and your, you know, your Twitch stuff is actually beneficial. Yeah, like, I, once I kind of have my name more out there on the Twitch sense, I will guarantee make a Facebook page. But, like, my Facebook, like, I was friends with, like, a lot of people, but they really don't know what I do, and I just... I'm tired of people's freaking baby mama drama shit on Facebook, so I just deleted it. 
it's right. ridiculous like how many girls i was friends with in high school have kids now possibly like some of them are even on their second kid and it's just ridiculous like you really don't have anything to do in life now you're just gonna be stuck in this crappy ass town with a bunch of kids to different guys like seriously yeah and that's not fun no Is Nightbot working for your channel yet? Maybe Nightbot just died for everybody. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm going to look on their Twitch support Twitter. Hold on, I'll be right back. Somebody's at my door.
What in the world? Alright, I'm back. Sorry to help my neighbor find her keys. It's fine. She's over at my house for a little bit, but she still can't find them. That's not good. Now, we went over to, like, the little park, too, because she took her son over there. and She still can't find them. That's really not good. Nope. It's got a full inventory full of sand. Sand. Said you need more sand. I think we'll be good on sand for a little bit now. I hope so. Then we have the to convert connected. all the sand into uh the craft team spearcoos are connected. What's it oh, called? Hello. Hey. What converted to um sandstone? Glass. Well that oh, too. Glass, yeah. Team spearcoos. Should you like a glass roof? Because I think like a full moon more guard guardians spawn. possible what well, depends on too like what design you do we also need Ido to actually not be AFK at his stuff you want one more like you don't need to be AFK well, I just need him to not be AFK and so that we can actually get oh, spawned that kid. yeah Who's that? No, Ido has a AFK spawner thingamajiggy, and it's killing hostile mob spawns on the server. Oh, oh, I'm actually loving that right now. You actually what? I'm actually loving that. I'll be right that craft left the channel. What? I don't know. <laughs> that craft joined the channel. Hey, can you move uh, Team Quick User in here? Who is it? It's uh, Skywalker. Uh, he and I have to talk to Marie. We want her to build our guardian farm. She's busy with mine first. Wait, what okay, am I that's, doing? That's fine. I'll just get in line. Yo, I still have to make another one of mine. You can. You I still haven't even finished mine yet. You mean you haven't finished yours? You have seen that you've finished I still have it. to like make it nice and everything and add the floors for the slime chunk. Uh, how many diamond blocks will it take for you to build my guardian farm? 
Um, I don't know. What well, depends? Are you gonna clear out all the water, or do yep, I have all to clear the all the water? Will be cleared out. All the water will be cleared out. I will give you any materials you need. You will just do the actual building. I don't know. But like, do you want to do my design, or are you thinking of a different design? Uh, I want to do your design. I love it, and I don't want to screw anything up. And you're like the only one on here who I know can do it properly. It won't take too many diamond blocks. That thing I got done in one day. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna clear out all the water. I'm I'm like halfway done with clearing out all the water. So. The most pain in the butt thing for it was just getting the water. You have to place the water a certain way. So you get it to flow down and you get all the levels yeah. of water. I bet. Yeah, you have to do it like level by level for each tank. Where is Sky? Do you allow him into this channel? Team Sleepers have joined the channel. There we go. Okay, um, maybe we'll do it. it. Eventually. Eventually. Oh, sorry, I didn't think you guys could see that. What in the God's, God's name? name. Guys, what's this echo? This guy's being a noob. Yeah. You need headphones. I do, they just don't work properly for some reason. Wait, so you just have like, like a mic around, around your neck? No, they're like headphones. Like, headphones. Why, why why is there echo then if there are headphones? I I have no idea, man. No idea. Alright, Sky, you wanna Skype now? We we can chill in here if you want. That's kinda kind of of that echo. echo. It's, it's got it's something to do with your, your uh, settings. settings. Let me look in. I mean alright, someone talk whenever I mute my mic. Oh. Did you hear that? Echo? No, no. Now we do, now we do. Now we, now do, we do, yeah. yeah. Are you guys streaming? Yep. Oh man, we're ruining your stream, huh? Broke all the <laughs> things. I broke everything. One job. Speaking of one job, where's Nanner's been? I haven't seen her in five ever. She's, uh, been busy with school as far as I know. She did say that she was actually making a uh, Rice Krispie trick, uh, treats earlier. I was like, you better be making me some. Do you guys know each other or something? No, it's not no, Scott. It's guy. No, no. We don't know each other in real life. We just became friends on here. RTK. Okay, Sky, we're going on uh, Skype, okay? Team Spirkuzma disconnected. Later, guys. Bye. Uh, disconnected. He pretty much had an orgasm when RTK got on. Oh, they do that all this time. I know, it's just it's like, weird. it's funny, you just like, Oh my god, RTK, we need to Skype, now, let's go. Bye. Oh! They oh. <laughs> <laughs> really have a freaking, like, orgasm or something. That's what I was just saying, it's like he had, like, a fucking mini orgasm, just, Oh god, Charlie Horse, oh god. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god! <laughs> it's like the fucking Queen of England just showed up or something. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. My, like, back of my thigh just started cramping. I'm like, no, no, no! <laughs> oh god. It's like, no, no. Mm -mm, not happening. Oh god, it happened. Oh god, that hurts.
So there's some like Star Wars movie coming out or something, and I keep getting advertisements for it in iTunes. You mean the Star Wars digital collection? Yeah, that thing. Yeah, um, basically for the first time ever, Star Wars is now being uh, released as a digital download versus a physical <sighs> uh, disc. Huge Star Wars nerd. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's the whole big thing. Hoorah. That's cool. Which, I'm like, sweet, that's awesome. But at the same time, like, I have the VHS, I have the DVDs of when the uh, Phantom Menace Attack of the Clones and uh, episode, uh, Revenge of the Sith came out. I have, I think, the DVDs of the original trilogy. And then I have the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, I have, like, the DVD box collection of the original trilogy. I have the DVD and then the Blu-ray collection of the Star Wars trilogy, uh, the Star Wars saga. So, yeah, I... Like I don't, I don't need more. It's just a ploy to get more money. Well, yeah, you know, Disney just spent four billion dollars, you know, <laughs> buying yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, I remember my stepbrother used to be super into it back when we were like kids. Used to be. Yep. I don't know if he's still there's no there is no such thing him. as used to be. There is only you are or yeah. you aren't. <laughs> he's not really my stepbrother. I just kind of like consider him. It's a long story with a with a sperm donor deal and blah blah blah. <laughs> long story short, my dad has lots of kids, and it's... I consider him a sperm donor because he's not a dad. He just passes out his. <laughs> it's not the first person that I've heard say the same exact thing about somebody that got them pregnant, though. Like, seriously, like, when my mom found out, like, my mom dumped him before she found out she was pregnant with me, and she calls him up saying, I'm pregnant, blah, 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 and he goes, well, how do I know it's my kid, blah, 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 and she, like, hung up on him and, like, started flipping out at him. Like, he's afraid of my mom. Because, like, when I was a kid, she would flip out on him because he'd always, like, bail on times going to see me and stuff like that. Wow. She's a scary Italian machista. bitch. You don't want to mess with her. This is probably great content for your YouTube video. Yeah, people don't really pay attention to my, uh... Your banter. Well, not, it's not even that. My uh, live stream archives. I actually just upload the uh, upload the archive the, the the live stream stuff just for like a um, an archive in a sense. Yeah. Not that many people actually watch it. But it's like you know. It's not the first person that I've heard say the same exact thing about, you know, somebody that got them pregnant. Yeah. Except he didn't, your dad didn't get you pregnant. You got your mom pregnant. But. That would be really weird if my dad got me pregnant. That'd be kind of scary. That'd be, we, that'd be beyond words and That would be like comprehension. People Magazine type craziness story. That'd be Jerry Springer episode. Oh, shit. Craziness. Sure. That'd be like. Like more like his ass in jail because I probably would have been a minor at the time. Yeah, that too. But we we digress to something else. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a uh, my buddy. Um, I I knew this guy from that uh, Star Wars club that I was a part of, and he and I pretty much became brothers through it. And he got back from um, being discharged in the army, and 
he went back home, which was Florida, and he met up with this chick who he's now actually married to. Oh, it's just, this just became scary. What's up? Um, I'm like on like a death, never mind. Um, so he, you know, got with this girl that he at some point knew somehow. And this girl was pregnant with her first kid and blah, blah, blah. And the baby daddy really didn't give a shit about her at all. Didn't give a shit about the baby. You know, really just was out for himself. Yeah. So he, you know, pretty much said, you know what? I'll help with whatever you need to help with. But, you know, I really don't give a shit about the kid. So, fast forward a little bit, she has the kid, and, you know, as a baby girl, everything, you know, our buddy John yeah. becomes, like, uber dad, and he takes care of her, like it's his own kid. And she put, and then they get married. She posts on Facebook like not too uh, long ago, like it's within like the last month. Says like you know the moment your uh, child's sperm donor shows up at your doorstep and says uh, that he'll pay, you know, half of the cost for John to uh, become her actual dad. What? Wait, is this is this the guy that took care of the little girl? Yeah, John's the guy that actually, you know, was basically dad versus her actual biological dad. Who was saying, wow. I will pay the, you know, half the cost for him to be her adopted, her actual adopted dad. Holy shit. So. Like that. And, but she phrased it as, you know, your chi her child's sperm donor. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, this is funny. Basically like that, because, like, the story is, like, my mom, she had me at 36. Like, I'm her only child, so, like, we're really close and everything. And she was just, like, so happy that she had me and everything, even though my dad's, like, a deadbeat and an asshole. And he, I, I know this sounds, like, really bad, but he has cancer, and I really don't give two shits. How yeah. can I give two shits about somebody who treated me like shit my whole life, comes in my life once in a while, thinks a big Christmas gift's gonna make up for everything? Yeah. yeah and I understand that. It, what The thing is, though, and it's actually something that I've taken kind of to heart, in, in at the same time this is gonna sound stupid nerdy um I learned this thing from a Star Wars book that I was reading and it, it was about the whole Mandalorian culture and you know um stuff like that and basically it's like you know family is actually who you make of it and there are people that will be your biological parents and, you know, the people who are your father and mother. But, in this world, you know, in the world of Star Wars, I, you know, not everybody's going to be, you know, can be your mom, dad, can be, you know, whatever. But in the culture that is the Mandalorians, they recognize that if somebody is not there for them and, you know, they don't really consider them, you know, their parents, they can, can they can, you know, swear off on them and say, you know what, you're not my parents, you're not, 
part of my family. Goodbye. And they can either be on their own, or if somebody adopts them, to be their own. And then they're actually, yeah. you know, they can... They will, there's a whole bunch of cultural shit. And the way yeah. I look at it is, is that, you know, family is what you make of it. It's who are the people that you have been there for you and all that happy jazz. Like, my parents have always been there for me. So, you know what? I would never swear off on them on being not my parents. And, you know, my sister being the uh, stupid, you know, D-bag, materialistic bitch that she is. It's not becoming of what I consider, uh, you know, somebody of my family. Yeah. And, you know, I consider the guys that I work with, you know, at least a few of them, more of my brothers than I consider her my sister. Yeah, I know the feeling. My, um, I have like a little sister. We have the same dad, different mom. And when my little sister was born, it was when I was like talking to my dad and like, um, the mother has a son that's a year older than me and her daughter is two months younger than me. So like, me and like her daughter like really hit it off like we're really close to this day and like recently their grandma just died and everything and it's just like we've been super close we could consider, consider each other like stepsisters even though technically we're not and like i consider her like my family to be honest well technically you are considering it's you know your dad being the sperm yeah. donor well they never got like married or anything like she finally left his ass smartly well, but you, he's still the sperm donor, so he's, she's technically your sister. Yeah. Well, the crazy thing is, too, like, my dad's sister and her mom's brother were actually married for a time. Like, they lived together and, like, around the same town and stuff, but now I think they're divorced now. But So, technically, we were, like, cousins, too. That's funny. It was crazy, like, because I really don't know, like, my dad's side too much, but I knew, like, this aunt, and then she told me, she's like, that's my uncle that she's married to. I'm like, what? That's craziness. There's a whole bunch of shenanigans going on. You mean on the server, or? No, I'm just, in general, life. Yeah. But, like, my actual family, 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 like, I really don't consider them family. Like, they don't give a shit, in a sense. I'm like, I'm getting, like, real deep here, but, like, it's just, like, been irking me for a while. Like, they got pissed that I didn't go to college, and they're still pissed at me. They still resent me for it. And, like, they have no idea, like, I'm trying to be a Twitch streamer and, like, do this for a living. And, like, if I ever told them, oh, my God, they would meet a new one. Seriously. Because they're like, keep up with the Joneses. Pra you need a practical job. Blah, blah, blah. See, the Star Wars commercial just popped up again. <laughs> See, that's the thing, though, with, like, the guys that I work with. They all know that I'm, you know, doing stuff on YouTube, doing stuff on this, doing stuff on that, and, you know. that I'm trying to do stuff other than just play games. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I know it's not really going to... At least in my opinion, my stuff isn't going to go too far you know yeah i'll get people to actually watch and you know stuff like that but it's like okay but it seems I, like that it won't. well i don't do it like a as if it was my job i just do it for 
For fun. For funsies, for the most part. And I just, I don't really care if I get, you know, subs. I don't care if I, you know, don't. You know, I'm putting things up there just to see, you know, what I can do. You know, see, you know, yeah. if, if somebody, you know, actually watches it, that's all fucking well and good. Like, I know one of my buddies on my YouTube channel, I have a 32 episode long um, Terraria um, playlist. And my buddy, he doesn't like Minecraft, but he likes to, but for some reason, with that Terraria, like, let's play, he loves it. Absolutely loves it. That's cool. So, but it's like, in which, like, do you know what Terraria is? No. No. Is it like a mod pack or something? No. It's actually, like, a two-dimensional version of Minecraft. Huh. That's cool. And... It was actually something that I had played before Minecraft. And then I played Minecraft. But it's two dimensions. Like the... oh. hmm? Wait, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it's a two dimensional basically it's basically two dimensional Minecraft and all that you really do is well it, it honestly it actually has more of an end game than uh, Minecraft, to be honest. But the thing is, it doesn't have a yeah. servers really to play on like this. Yeah, unless you create one, and then you have to create a world, and, and it's all kinds of crap. Yeah, I think like down the line, like like say we do start getting like more followers and stuff like that. I think me. You and Nanners should create a vanilla, like, follower server. Like, not in any way to undermine Mon or anything, but, like, in a sense to kind of, like, branch off a little bit from, like, Mon's, like, stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, and actually, I, I've set up a, um, I've set up an account with Nodecraft. Um, they actually, I, I actually had messaged Mon before um, I really started just playing on Mon stuff, because um, I want to know what servers he, uh, not really servers, but what kind of like a service that he used, and he told me Nodecraft, and then I find out that he's actually not using Nodecraft. It's like, oh, we're sponsored by Nodecraft, and I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds cool, and then he's like, and then I find out that they're actually not, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's just silly of me then. Mm -hmm. Is NodeCraft like a build team, or is it like a server hosting place? It's actually a server hosting team uh, place. Um, they okay. actually have a partnership with uh, the AT Launcher. Oh, okay. But um, the thing with it is, is that you know, I I've had servers in the past, and. Like I have, I've had realms. I've done this. I've done that. And draft, to be honest, is more of what I would want for running a server. Yeah. Because they have a better um, command system, like the. Uh, I used to use Fragnet, and Fragnet used to give out to uh, MC my admin. Well, MC my admin was all well and good when it was only using Craft Bucket, and since Craft Bucket's not really in anymore, you know it's yeah. kind of not you. It's it just it makes things hell. But at the same time. Um, they also use, like, an FTB kind of thing, which I get, you know, FTB, you know, FTP, blah, 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 do all this crap. It's not really that user-friendly. 
And for me, it's like, I really do need a user-friendly kind of thing. So I, I looked at a mo uh, Nodecraft after what Mon messaged uh, me back, and it's like, they have this great user interface for, you know, whitelisting and admins and this and that. And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to use this. So before um, I actually became a patron, I was actually shelling out like 30 bucks a month for running a creative server and a uh, fo quote unquote follower server. But then I said, you know what? I'm just going to pay the five bucks and play on Mon's server and the modded servers and everything else. Yeah. I've used um, MC Pro Hosting to own, uh, host my own server before. They're not too bad either. Oh, I didn't even realize I had more sand. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go back out there. It's just, you know, like, odd, you know, that'd be great for the three of us to do it. Yeah. But. I kind of want to it like how this server is, where there's, like, barely any, like, mods, and there's only, like, a few server admin and everything. The only mod w would be that we would really uh, want is the, you know, core protect. But at the same time, it's like, well, core protect isn't really getting updated anytime soon. So. Yeah. But like you said, it's like you know, I don't want to undermine Mon at the same time. Yeah, I would never want to do that. Like, I still want to be a part of this community, but. There has to be some time eventually where we need to branch off in a way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, that's why, you know, I'm, I, I kind of stand, that's why I said, you know what, as much as I'd like to have the Mongeese name, I'm going to remain my own. Yeah. And as well, because I've just been through so much crap. Yeah. I think once I branch off, I'll probably s switch my name back or do a um, do my Twitch name as my Minecraft name. So the Penguins lost today. We are 0-4-1 for the month of April, and yet we still have a chance to make it to the playoffs. Please tell me how the hell that is possible. I don't ask questions. I just do the job. That's it. Well, they have one game left, and I think they. I think it's saying if we win that game, which I need to see who it's against, we will actually make it to the playoffs. But it's seriously a joke if we make it to the playoffs. Like, we suck ass right now. Like, we are playing crappy hockey. We're playing like the Islanders, how they used to play. And the Islanders are doing a lot better than we are. Well, they're also... The great thing about the Islanders right now is that it's the last year that they have at the Coliseum. Oh, uh, yeah, too. They're only two points ahead of us, though. Yeah, which is why the Islanders going is like, oh my god, they're going, and it's the last year that they're going to be at the Coliseum, or at least, you know, the old Coliseum. It's looking like we're still a wild card spot, but Boston's only a point behind us, so it's going to be a close race. The race of the cup is going to be interesting, that's for sure. I wonder who we're playing, though. I really, I have a weird feeling we're playing Boston back the last game. But, I know, I think it's Buffalo. Hold on. I don't know. But, the thing is, though, at the same time, uh, we have to also think about, you know, the size of the server. We're going to have a, yeah. a follower server. That, you know, Mon has 
a box. And the box is, you know, obviously holding all kinds of stuff. Sorry, I had to let my cat in. What were you saying? I was saying Mon has a box, and the box, you know, has... is able to, you know, give so much more than just a regular flat server. Like, the box can actually give out up to 240 slots. Versus, you know, I think somebody, something else could be like up to 120. Yeah. Let me look here. Well, I think the smartest thing to do is start out with just like the vanilla server. And if the vanilla server works out, and we just kind of like maybe evolve it in a way. But like we're only server admin, like me, you, and Fanners will probably only be like the only server admin. Mm hmm. See, the thing, like, um, all right, so for example, like, I think it was a 10 dollar package that I, when I was running my own server. I think I get up to like 15 people on the server. And even then that would still kind of stress the server because of how big the map was. Yeah. And then there's like the $80 a month package. And while it does say unlimited slots, it's like, okay, well, you have only 8 gigs of RAM. So... Yeah, the thing is too, like, even like, like, if we start out with a small server, we can always do just like world borders to help, like, kind of with the chunks and just loading stuff and everything in general. Wait, say that again? Well, like, say we do start out like a server eventually, we can always do where uh, we have like a world border, so that way it kind of limits people in a sense too, so you don't have so many chunks loaded and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. I have a hostile mob spawn right next to me. Well, he signed off, but there's still no guardian yet because there's squids floating in the guardian chunk. Mm. And they usually zap them, and that's how you get the ink sacs from the guardian farms. Right. You see, like a, um, uh, what the heck's it called? A, unlike GameServers.com, a uh, one, uh, a ninety-six player server is about a six gig RAM, and even that's like only like sixty bucks, or fifty-two yeah. ninety-nine. So it's like, uh, okay. This ended stream now. Yeah, it's getting to that point, isn't it? Yep. 
If I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd probably do a Sims 4 stream tonight. Funny thing is, like, there's a when I was had a, oh, there's a lot of hostile mobs. I better hide. Um, with my server that I was running my world on, I actually had um, created a uh, what's it called? I wound up actually creating an automatic, like, sorter. This thing was, like, yeah. huge. It's actually on my YouTube uh, somewhere. <laughs> it's, it, it's sort of pretty badass. But yeah, should probably end my stream.